Oh, all right. So in this one, we have the K very damn. Well, you can see up there, it's 11 damn 30 p.m. when the game resets in an hour and a half. But yeah, we have the kit here. We have all this uh, fucking you know March stuff because it is obviously St. Patrick's Day in March, and that's the only holiday that I can remember that is for March. So we got St. Patty's Day. Got some you know green fucking coloring got some green fucking silly string we got all these beautiful things behind us let's get into the goddamn kit and get into trunks because it took so long to get this download for whatever reason we probably have a plot coming out as well i have no idea about any of it i'm just getting to the kit because i just got it two seconds ago let's touch on it super saiyan 2 trunks adult main ability draw a green card next to his own key by 50 can't actually downgrades our normal conditions absolutely don't know his color until he comes out by the way in the actual game and or the day of download which gives the uh everything right this just gave his kit we need the everything uh, cancels allies after downgrades are normal conditions. Shortens allies sub count by five. Inflicts all enemies with minus card draw speed for 20 timer counts. Okay, interesting main. It's genuinely just interesting. He doesn't get any damage. He just does his ally stuff, right? It kind of reminds me of a uh, purple Super Saiyan blue Vegeta vibe. The second anniversary one where he just like really wants to amp your allies and like get them the hell in, right? He does not want to be in. He wants them in that Vegeta. So maybe this Trunks is going to be the same way. And if he's modernized, that'd be a very good thing. Applies the effects uh, to self when that battle starts. By the way, his main is shorter than a lot of others. It is only 15 counts. Some are 20, 25. His is 15. Uh, applies the effects self when battle starts. 80% damage inflicted. Cannot be canceled. Reduces the by 50%. And... Okay, cannot be canceled. And 60% to key recovery. Cannot be canceled. The following effects occur when this character is switched to standby. Verbally draws one new card when you return a few cards. Very nice. Shorts ally key by 20. Very nice. 15% damage inflicted by allies for 15 timer counts. Okay. And reduce, or rather, inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade minus 15 to blast and strike arts power for 15 timer counts. Okay. All right. Now that's just when he swapped. So you just get him out of there, get someone else that's tankier than him. Kind of makes more sense, right? Who who would he... I guess Zamasu would be the ideal situation. You throw Zamasu and that's blue card power debuff that's ultimate power debuff that's strike and buff. that's literally all the main cards power debuff because the monsters gonna debuff their power and then trunks debuffs their power when he leaves so you really want one of the monsters, right that's really like their goal here then also on top of all that when he switches to standby also cal cancels can't fucking read uh allies actually downgrades if tag future ex events exclusive or vegeta clan of this character is a battle member activates three times so he's very much an amper. He reminds me of the second anniversary of Vegeta, and uh, I am not wrong to say that because he literally does his like situations, right? He really wants to amp your ally and have them uh, come in, do their work. Uh, more for VT and the output, more for defensiveness in Zamasu, and you can run both together because that's blue-yellow, they color synergize, right? Then, Shorin's own sub count by 2 is default. That's very good because he's just thrown the fuck out, and he seems to be a support type, so... Yeah, you want to do that. Flaw effects occur when this character enters the battlefield, stores own key by 20. 20 damage damage to 20 timer counts, reducing it to 20% for 10 timer counts, reducing enemy key by 20. Plus, flaw effects, uh, also the flying effects occur according to the number of times this character has been on the battlefield. So he had this in his uh, Twitter uh, preview, and now this is the depth version. So when he enters twice, he, well, two or more times rather, uh, inflicts enemy actual downgrade minus eight percent to key recovery three timer counts, and then when he enters three or more times on his third and further, he does give thirty percent damage inflicted by allied uh, future events exclusive or Vegeta clan cannot be canceled and cannot be stacked. So on his entry, oh, he just gives that forever. Oh, that's a full thirty that just goes on. That's forever. So he gives forty five on swap out after his third entry because he swaps out from that third entry. Boom, that's fifteen. That's thirty. That's key back. That's a card as well, if there's three or fewer, which you're going to click a card prior to. Okay. Dude, he, yeah, he he literally is that purple Super Saiyan Blue Vita, just modernized as a new unit, not even like a Zenkai, obviously, just a new unit. Applies one effect self every time this character uses an arts card, stores key by 5, 15% damage inflicted, 10 timer counts, and gets card draw speed for 3 timer counts. That's every time he uses a card, right? So he just ramps up his card draw speed. Actually, can't, can't be that low of damage, right? He gets what? 80 there on his first thing, right? 80, 100, this 130. This will apply to, wait, inflicted by allied? I'm pretty sure if it doesn't say, like, uh, I'll in this character, it inflicts himself. So that'd be 130. He's on boost. That's 145%. Then he ramps up 15 per card. 145%? I mean, that's not low. That's actually sizable. Okay. All right. That's actually not bad. Uh, 
Blue card is a Gallic Gun. Third sense of blue card damage inflicted through five time counts activation. Cancels enemy attribute upgrades and buff effects on hit. Activates three times. That is a short animation, I'm pretty sure. So that's actually pretty nice. That is green card. Sword's own key by 40. Sword ally health by 10%. And 100% to next arts damage inflicted cannot be stacked. Okay, geez, that's random, but it's good. Does give future events exclusive or Vegeta clan double defense. You can see he's not strike or blast oriented. It seems you could run him either with a strike Vegeta clan or a blast future, which is basically his best molds that are going to exist, right? Because you seem to want to run him with VT because that card, obviously, hopefully it's a blast. And you can kind of just have them go off with their cover and over three time recounts and do some damage there with their uh, situation of ramp up of Jita or the cover null from Trunks. You kind of get some work out there. And then if you're getting hit, you go into Zamasu and have that be kind of the tanky sequence for yourself. And Vegeta Clan, you could run them with like MV. And then from there, I mean, there's not really a great third that's a bulk. You know, I guess MV is the bulk as well, but you have the fours on that team as well. So MV is your bulk on Vegeta Clan, which would, you know, the arts power debuff from Trunks would be nice. And then that would obviously help him build up. And then the fours, if you want to go into them off your initiating your combo and doing your own combo, That'd be the opposite way to go. So it actually kind of flows in two different uh, methodologies there. That's interesting. That's very interesting, actually. Uh, let me see if there's anything else we do have very quickly here. It seems like there's equipment with uh, Trunks' face that people are claiming is sort of Hope Trunks' plat. That's interesting. Um... We don't know yet. We don't know yet. There, there's not enough. Yeah, he, yeah. This guy, this, this Vegeta's good. This Vegeta's good, actually. He's, uh, he's modern Super Saiyan Blue of the second anniversary of Vegeta. Again, if you guys don't remember him, just check out his kit. He's in the game right now. The purple Super Saiyan Blue anniversary of Vegeta. He, uh, he did his job. He ramped up his allies, and he didn't do the worst damage himself, but, um, he obviously fell off because units didn't, uh, have well they had better ramp up than him more a uh, better overall kit than him like puddle and pan have better overall kits than vegeta so he just fell off because of that because obviously power creepy's second fucking anniversary but yeah i'm just looking at the side here real quickly people are saying sort of copium plat and uh i mean this could be the events exclusive like we always get a uh, equipment from the new events exclusive like stage uh, there is a new equipment coming out though probably for co-op if i had to guess but yeah this trunks Looking pretty damn solid. I got no complaints about him. Um, I hope his stats are well. That's all I really can care for. I think he does what he wants to do. He's going to amp up VT. He's going to help Zamasu with uh, a tanking situation if you want to go that way with it. And then from there, I think you're just fine out. I, I don't think there's much problems. I think he'll flow well. I think he'll do a good service to Vegeta Clan or Future. More Future, obviously, because Future is just a better team. So amping a better team makes more sense. And... I hope his color is red. Obviously, we'll know his color by uh, probably the time this video is up. But let me know what you guys think of this new Trunks. And I'll see you guys in the next one for, I think, his initial showcase, then a 14-star showcase, or just his 14-star showcase. We gotta see. But I gotta farm co-op for all that shit, which he'll be from co-op as well, because every new motherfucker is. We will see. I'll see you guys in the next one.